फर्स्ट विल बी ए सेकेंड विल बी ए आर थर्ड विल बी ए आर स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट विल बी ए आर पावर थ्री एंड सो ऑन करेक्ट बट डियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द सीरीज इज दैट फर्स्ट वी विल टेक ए बाई आर सेकेंड वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर एज ए नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर ए आर आफ्टर दैट ए आर स्क्वायर आफ्टर दैट ए आर क्यू नेक्स्ट ए आर पावर फोर नेक्स्ट इट विल बी ए आर पावर फाइव ए आर पावर सिक्स एंड सो ऑन करेक्ट नाउ नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन एज यू आर एबल टू सी ए विल बी योर फर्स्ट टर्म ए वन दिस विल बी योर सेकेंड दिस विल बी योर थर्ड टर्म दिस विल बी योर फोर्थ टर्म इन द सेम वे हेयर ए बाई आर दिस विल बी माई फर्स्ट टर्म मीन्स वी कैन से द फर्स्ट टर्म टी वन लेट मी डी नोट दिस ए एज अ a second term this will be my third term this will be my fourth term this will be my fifth term this will be my sixth term this will be my seventh term and this will be my eighth term and so on correct now dear according to the question let us first note it down what is given over there okay so what is given sum of third term and the fourth term of the gp is 60 so sum of third and fourth okay so what will be a sum of third third term plus sum of fourth term of the gp is how much 60 they are providing so let me note it down what is the formula to find out the term so it is there suppose tn is equal to ar n minus 1 so in this condition t3 t3 how are we going to calculate t3 means basically here it is e1 that is a first term now t3 t3 already is here 3 3 plus t4 is equal to 60 t3 what is the value already we know that ar ar plus what is the value of t4 that is ar square is equal to 60 clear now from this up to here clear now what i can conclude from here what i can take common very good ar i can take common ar ar square so here what will be left ar into 1 ar plus ar into r a into a a r into r r square is equal to 60 up to here clear so let me make this as equation number 1 okay now after that what we will do now again in the second condition this is the condition was so we can write here case 1 already the condition it is given now second condition also it is given case 2 what is given over there and the sum the product of the first three number is 1000 now what is the first three number so it is a by r a and e r so product of the first three number that will be a by r into a into e r product of the three num uh, consecutive three number it is 1000 it is not necessary that every time you should take a by r a into e r any number also you can take all are in a p only but it is not mentioned due to that i am taking the first three number a by r a and e r since the common ratio is should be positive due to that i am considering from here okay it is clear up to that okay now how i will solve a now r r cancel how many are there a cube is equal to 1000 very good now a is equal to here it will be cube root of 1000 so how i am going to solve a is equal to cube root means 10 power 3 and already cube root 1 by 3 3 cancel so from this what i can implement a is equal to because it is cube root so a is equal to i can write here 10 up to here clear okay 
now since it is clear now from this what we have got till now er is equal to 1 plus r is equal to 60 a is equal to 10 power 3 means cube root i got a is equal to 10 now a is equal to 10 we are going to apply in this equation a is equal to 10 we got we are going to apply in equation 1 let me note down the equation 1 again a r 1 plus r is equal to 60 what is the value of a that is 10 r 1 plus r equal to 60 now 10 is in multiply right side if i send then what will be there then it will be t by divided by 10 0 0 cancel r into r r plus r into r r square is equal to 6 now if i am simplifying how much i will get r square minus r square plus r minus 6 is equal to 0 now in this i can solve a various method by factorize by middle term splitting let us solve by the middle term splitting that is the most easiest method so r square plus if i am doing 6 then how much i can write here here i can write here 3x minus sorry 3r minus 2r minus 6 is equal to 0 now r is common so r plus 3 minus 2 is common r plus 3 equal to 0 so here will be r minus 2 here will be r plus 3 equal to 0 clear now after that what i will do here so r minus 2 equal to 0 next condition will be r plus 3 equal to 0 now r is equal to 2 first next r is equal to minus 3 clear what is the roots we got r is equal to 2 and r is equal to minus 3 since we already in the question it is given over there that the first term of the gp is positive positive means common ratio should be positive suppose i am taking minus 3 then definitely my first term will be negative but according to question it should be in positive so r is equal to 2 i will take care now after that what we need to find out we need to find out the seventh term if you are forgetting the question then you can move the question uh, you can take the uh, video back and you can watch it out t7 seventh term we need to find out seventh term so let us find it out here seventh term seventh term will be what a r power 5 okay seventh term is a r power 5 is equal to what is the value of a already we know that a is equal to 10 10 what is the value of r that i am going to take positive value 2 power 5 t7 i need to find it out t7 is equal to now 10 into 2 power 5 how much i will get here 32 now how much answer i will get t7 is equal to 320 very good now 320 we got now which option is correct now according to the option let us check which option is correct okay now option number d is the correct answer okay hope you understand this video if you are not understanding you can watch it once again Jai.